Welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Greg Greenberg reporting from the NASDAQ Market Site. And today I'm here with Ken Londoner. He's the chairman of Biosig Technologies. Now, Biosig Technologies, Ken, you help doctors better hear signals from their patients' hearts. Tell me about it. So Biosig is almost nine years old. Uh, I'm the founder of the company. Uh, we operate in the medical technology industry, which is a large industry in cardiology. And our technology uh, helps doctors actually see um, cardiac signals better when they're doing certain type of cardiac surgery. And your main product is the Pure EP system, EP standing for electrophysiology. Tell me why this is better than what's currently out there in the market. Like Dolby or Bose headphones, we cancel out a lot of interference and noise in these small biomedical signals. We're really a biomedical signal techni technology company. We've chose to apply our technology to the field of electrophysiology or irregular heartbeats because in these surgical procedures, the precision of the signals that the doctors are looking at are critical to the success of their uh, surgical outcomes. And you're developing the Pure EP system along with the Mayo Clinic. Talk about that association and how it can benefit you going forward. Well, we've worked with a lot of the leading um, uh, hospitals in our sector. Uh, we started with the Mayo Clinic in 2014 uh, doing primary uh, research on whether our technology was efficacious, um, effective. Uh, we've broadened our relationship with them to include doing um, uh, preclinical studies, and now we have a, a new relationship with them uh, building on top of our existing technology more features and capabilities in the system. And this is all part of a greater field called bioelectric medicine. Can you talk about this growing category? Well, bioelectric medicine is really a new category uh, from a public standpoint. It's existed for many years. The pacemaker, for example, was invented uh, back in the 50s, and that helps people that have slow heartbeats uh, beat more regularly. Uh, last summer, Google uh, and GlaxoSmithKline put a fund together uh, of approximately $700 million to invest in new technologies that can bring electrical therapeutics to treating diseases that currently are not benefiting from drug therapies. And so our technology is on the front end of what we see as a growing market for these new innovations and these new breakthroughs in medicine. All right, now let's talk about the timeline. When are you going to get the Pure EP system to market? I know you're speaking with regulators. We are this year uh, going to submit our uh, FDA application. It's called the 510K application, which is a medical device uh, application. Uh, and that is a, a bit of a shorter process uh, for companies like us as opposed to uh, drugs. Uh, we're hopeful to have FDA clearance uh, by the end of this year, possibly early next year, but um, you know, we'll be in the market next year selling our product. And let's talk a little bit more about the market because investors are interested and you currently trade under the ticker BSGM over the counter, but you're gonna be moving up to the NASDAQ, correct? Uh, we came public through an S1 filing two and a half years ago. Uh, we've been trading over the counter uh, for the last two and a half years, and uh, we are preparing ourselves for a NASDAQ uplisting in the, in the not too distant future. And can you talk a little bit more about the team over at Biosig Technologies? Because it's a very experienced board as well. Yeah, we have a, uh, what we think is almost a Fortune 500 board inside a small company. Uh, we have uh, leaders from the capital markets. We have leaders from industry who've been with us for quite some time, and our management team has come with a lot of experience from the medical device industry, from market leaders as well. So a strong board and a strong management team indeed. Well, good luck. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. And thank you for watching Small Cap Nation.